So Greg, before we transition to Congressional District 2, why don't we go ahead and show the viewers where Congressional District 1 is. I, I even lose track after redistricting. So Absolutely. Let's, let's, let's pull a map up for that. Let's go ahead and look. Here we go. Now the first Congressional District basically includes Northeastern Iowa. we got uh, Waterloo, Cedar Rapids is now in the district now, and of course Dubuque are your three main cities, but it goes as far west as Marshalltown. And you can see it kind of in this corner and here. Here's the the sharp line, okay. But Iowa essentially got divided into four quadrants. Okay. Had to redistrict in 2012. We used to have five congressional seats, but um, Iowa has failed to gain population, which stayed kind of stagnant for about the last 30 or 40 years. So it seems every census we keep losing seats. So we're down to four now. So two years ago, when we had our first election under the new map, yeah. we, had got, we went from five con congressmen. That's correct. To four congressmen. That's correct. And now maybe we'll go to congresswomen. We've got a couple of women who won primaries Tuesday night for Congress. That's correct, yes. And District 2. And District 2, why don't you transition to District 2 and the, the lay of the land there. Yeah, District 2 um, used to be known as one of the more democratic districts in the state. But with redistricting, removing Cedar Rapids and bringing in Davenport, it's actually gotten a lot more competitive. Marinette Miller-Meeks, who's known to run against Dave Loebsack, and Dave Loebsack's the incumbent congressman who's a Democrat in that seat. Mm -hmm. So he'll be running for re-election again. He's from Iowa City. And Marinette Miller Meeks challenged Dave Loebsack two prior times in the old second congressional district yes. when it still had Cedar Rapids. And 2010 got within five percentage points. Wow. Yeah, so she got very close in a more Democratic lean district. Well, Tuesday night she did win um, with, an with a very impressive primary challenge by Mark Lofgren. Mark ran a great race. Uh, I think people are very impressed by how close Mark did get. Um, he won actually some pretty key counties. He won Scott County, which is Davenport, Muscatine, where he's a state representative from, but also Clinton County. And then he won out in Marion County, which is where Pella Knoxville is at, which is kind of the heart of the Republican part of the district. So Mark did very well, and part of this, he's a hard worker. Mm -hmm. Mark probably door knocked a large portion of that district. But Marionette Miller Meeks, very well known, ended up winning the primary. So she'll go on to challenge Dave Loebsack, and um, the race is really going to be in Davenport. Whoever wins Davenport will win that race. So again, if this year, 2014, is yeah. similar to 2010, she's got a shot at winning that. And what would it mean to replace a Loebsack with a Miller Meeks? What would that mean for our issues, the issues that the family leader cares about? Absolutely. Um, if Marinette Miller Meeks has a, a successful race like she had in 2010, she will be a U.S. Congresswoman, as you can pull those same numbers. What that means for us, uh, Dave Loebsack is a professor at Cornell College, very liberal. When we say he's a Democrat liberal, I mean he's liberal. Very nice man. I actually met him when I was in college. Very nice guy, but he's not with us on any of the family issues. He's going to be with Planned Parenthood. He's going to support gay marriage. I mean, Dave Loebsack is not with us. Marinette Miller Meeks would vote with us way more consistently than Dave Loebsack ever would on a lot of the policies that we all hold dear. Okay, but, yeah, go ahead. Plus, it's just one more vote to help us keep a majority in the House. It's always yeah. helpful. And what's also very large for Marinette is her and now Joni Ernst running, and of course, Stacey Apple in the third district will go next. That's three women that have a chance to be a congressman or senator. Iowa is, is one of the few states, with the exception of Mississippi, to never elect a woman to Washington, D.C. Wow, yeah. So that is going to be a huge issue people are going to hear all around the state. This is Iowa's chance to elect a woman. Gotcha. And we hope people actually vote and assess who they're going to vote on, not if they're male or female, black or white, but who's most qualified. And, and as Tamara mentioned, control of the United States Congress, the House of Representatives yeah. right now, is with Republicans. That is correct. And even though we're not a partisan organization, the issues that we care the most about, sanctity of human life, yeah. religious liberty, uh, marriage, and, and so forth, uh, traditional uh, education or parent-centered education, those issues fare much better right, right now, right in now. 2014, with Republicans. Not all Republicans support them. But most do, and not all Democrats oppose them, but almost all Democrats oppose the right to life. Right. So we are very interested yeah. in keeping Republican control for now, not for the party's sake, but for the issue's sake.